G'day, it's Asshole Robot here, making immature jokes yet again. We're back into the second episode. I do apologize for that rather obnoxious refugee joke that I pulled in the start of last episode. But let's get right back into the thick of things. And as you can see, unbelievably, I managed to unglitch my truck, which was actually pretty amazing because, as you can see, one of the most annoying things about this game is that you actually need to exit the game to reach the main menu. So. What I try to do is the good old thing when I used to be a child, just click every button on the keyboard and see what that did. And I think it was R, actually you need to enter a vehicle, so if you press tab, it automatically spawns us to a vehicle, which is nice. But here we go, if I press R, it allows us to reset the truck or tow it to a repair shop, gas station, so if we damage our vehicle so much that we can't drive, which will be actually very hard to do, I imagine, but we can also tow to the gas station or tow to the depot, and that's exactly what we did. So that's actually a really nice feature. I did also try to look at quietening down the gear shifting sounds, but there's nothing that I can do about that, unfortunately. It is quite hard to believe, but there's only one sound effects option, and that's it. There's no, like, other options. It's just sound effects, and that's it. No, like, main volume, nothing like that. So kind of lackluster options that we've got to muck around with, but let's go ahead and continue with the story. Now, one thing that I did notice is, let's have a look, where are we? I still need to learn how to navigate this, here we go. So these are the five different skills that we've got. Oh, it's storming yet again, it was storming in the last episode too. But I can see now how we expand our company and I think we can choose what we need. So over here, we need 100 happiness and 9,000 euros. So it seems like we've got the 9,000 euros down pat. Just need to get the happiness going. Um, and we've also got a couple of missions over here which we can accept. Now let's go ahead and go to... Well, it doesn't seem like we've got any story quests at the moment. But I think this might be a story quest here. So what I'm going to do is let's drive over to that exclamation mark. Or, and uh, well, wish for the best. I mean, I'm not really quite sure what we can do over there. Another thing that I have noticed... As we drive into, I don't know what, fog or something. Game's got definite lighting issues. It's just like a blank screen of white in front of us. Staring us down, waiting until we drive into it. Oh, there we go. As soon as I move the camera, it changes around. Now, of course, there's no cockpit view, but what I noticed is that they have actually detailed insides of the vehicles, which I find quite strange why they would have done that. They're very low resolution, but still. They've uh, put in the steering wheel and all, and you can see our driver driving. Don't forget to accept and complete tasks. The city is counting on us. Well, of course. How can I forget to complete tasks? That's pretty much the whole point of the game. There you go. The sun's out. Hopefully the storm will subside any moment now. Also, I should turn on my emergency lights as well. The warning lights, actually, is what they're called while we're doing our job. So I'll be doing that for certain. We can also turn down our normal lights. I don't really do too much though. We'll take that corner very, very sharply. The game's very poorly optimized, so not much we can do about that. But let's go ahead and just keep on grinding, grinding it out. That's pretty much the reason why we're playing on easy, because the grind just gets so much worse the harder the difficulty it is. That's all the difficulty does in these simulation games, really. It just depends on how much of a grind you want to go through. Alright, so where is this exclamation point leading us to? I would assume it... What the hell just happened? I hit a car? Okay, let's go reset the truck. Wow, okay. I can't... I don't think I hit a car. Unless it was, like, invisible. <laughs> <laughs> Our truck just magically jumped up as well, so I'm not quite too sure what I was expecting. Okay. So, exclamation points. Well, I definitely hit the car there. Ah, there we go. I can see the lady, but it seems like right now we're on the exclamation point on the minimap. So, it seems like the minimap sort of lies to us as we keep on crashing. Now, believe me, I don't drive like this in person. Although Sydney drivers are pretty crazy. Highly recommend having a dash cam if you ever drive in Sydney because 
This is the way people drive. You can never trust anyone. Alright, so let's go talk to this lady. See what she's got to say for herself. I'm not quite sure what she wants to do with a garbage collection man. But uh, this part of the city is always a little dirty. You don't say with a short skirt like that. But the citizens have been getting tired here recently. Can you help them get used to it and empty their garbage containers? So we get some XP. I'm not even quite sure what the XP does. Because it seems like all we need to unlock the next stage is like a certain amount of happiness and euros. So, Anyways, I'll accept the job. Let's go ahead and press this button. I've also noticed when your guy stands still, he drops his head down just really weirdly. He just looks at his feet and he bends over. Can't be good for his back. Just looks around and then he just looks straight back down. What in the world is he doing? Who knows? But let's go ahead and pick this up. Have to push this all the way around. These little advertising boards. Guy's struggling though. Alright. So next up I'll go ahead and push... Oh, well, not push anything, but turn on the warning lights as well. So it seems like every mission has four different, um, at least with the recycling vehicles, four different skip bins. This is what we call them in Australia, the dumpsters, skip bins. Well, actually, not really, actually. I guess we call them dumpsters. Skip bins are something a little bit different. So excuse what I just said. Skip bins are very similar though. Although in Australia, we don't really have garbage trucks like this. We've got garbage trucks... Well, the ones that get dumpsters, they have the dumping bit like in front of them. At least the ones that I've seen. Not that I really keep an eye on garbage trucks myself. Alright, so we're half full at the moment. Half empty, depending on which way you look at it, of course. As I smash into more and more things. Actually, here we go. I can show you what I was talking about with the textures. Here we go. We can glitch ourselves inside here. There you go. So, so they've modelled the actual inside. I mean, it's not the highest textures. But they've definitely modelled the inside, which I find very strange. Because, of course, there's no cockpit view. Anyways. So I think... Well, we've only got one more dumpster to pick up. It seems like... Anyway, what is this guy trying to do? Push in. Oh, come on. He re-ended me. That was all his fault. Alright, so... Well, there's a food store here, but I don't see any dumpsters. Do you guys see any good dumpsters around? Oh, all I can see is trees at the moment. Um, let's come in here and just drive around in circles a little bit then. Maybe I need to drive around this way. Nothing around here that I can see. What about here? Ah, yep, I can see two dots. Actually, there's a fair few. Seems like there's going to be a couple of things that we need to clean up over here. Let's go reverse our way. I'm definitely not the best at reversing, that's for certain, especially when it comes to trailers. Oh, okay. Really? That's a bit silly. There's three over here. I was going to say, because there's always four dumpsters. Alright, I'll take that. Um, and I completely forgot to turn my warning lights on, so... For realism's sake, let's go do that. Let's go P for warning lights. Okay. The warning light's still on. What the hell is happening to my guy? Yep, warning lights are still on, which is nice. Go press that, and off we go. So this game has quite a financial aspect, I guess. That's where the economy part of this game goes. City economy is the name of the game after all, but we're going to run our own economy, or at least our own business. What is it with this game and storms? It storms way too much. Right, there you go. So these missions are fairly simple to do, actually. Ready halfway. Just about to be three quarters of the way through, and then we'll be able to finish this. So, tends to live stream a bit of this game actually. I've been live streaming a little bit more on YouTube, trying to get the gist of things. I think, in comparison, though, YouTube gaming has been a bit of a failure though. One thing that I really don't like about YouTube gaming though is just the monopoly that 
you end up giving to YouTube as well uh, because YouTube controls like for me especially the whole part of the whole like video creating process so you create videos but if you live stream there as well if you lose a YouTube channel which I did lose for like a couple of days at the beginning of the year but then you lose everything whereas if you diversify and you're on Twitch as well then it's not as bad in, if you lose a YouTube channel or something of the sort so all right we've uh, completed the task you've earned money citizen satisfaction points and experience so we're only at 37 happiness um, what I want to do is you know what okay we'll walk up to, well no we won't walk up to that lady that's a lie we'll run no we won't run we'll actually get in the vehicle that's what we're gonna do all right so seems like we can well i guess that's the exit isn't it that's all right it's all right there's no police around here there'll be none the wiser what is this guy doing he crashed into me i didn't crash into him all right, I'm not even really getting all that much in terms of fines. I don't think the difficulty changes how much the fines actually hurt you, though. Oop, better make sure we don't drop. Should use the handbrake there, I think. Probably would have been better. All right, let's go collect a quest reward. Oh, okay. So, so the story missions, because this was a story mission, so they give us the base XP for doing the normal like job, and then we get, say, another couple of thousand dollars in XP for going back to the person that gave us the mission so that's quite handy okay so what I'm gonna have to do as you might be able to see on the bottom left it says 80% in the orange so that means our truck has been filled up to 80% so what I'm gonna do instead is we will need to drop all of this rubbish off now just looking at the mini map it seems like pretty much right ahead of us like the way that we're driving is a recycling drop-off area I'm assuming that's what that symbol is I mean there's no tutorial in the game unfortunately I definitely feel like this game's been rushed out a little bit maybe not a little bit but a lot it's like it's very very promising I do want to play this game quite a bit more because after all we've only experienced one part of it but I feel like if I press escape I should be hitting a main menu option instead of uh, the tablet that does the in-game type of stuff and doing um, turning signals shouldn't be all that difficult either so I guess we'll have to wait and see what ends up happening if I actually look Properly. Also, the collision detection seems a bit strange because sometimes, it, well, I guess it, it only happens when we crash into vehicles, though. Um, we get fined and stuff, so. Alright, so I'm driving in the completely, complete wrong direction from what I see. Oh, shoot. You're running out of fuel. Find the vehicle. Where do you see fuel anyway? Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, that's cool. There we go. There's the collection drop-off area. Or the garbage drop-off area. So what I'm going to do instead... Well, it's pointing this way. So I'm not quite sure what we do. I'd reverse, but because the arrow is pointing that way, I'm just going to drive the cabin in over here, and we'll see what will happen. Yeah, reverse park. Okay. The camera seemingly changes as well, probably to make it a little bit easier for us. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. I don't think I'm going to have enough an angle to turn on. Actually, no, we'll make it. Only just though. Okay, keep reversing, I guess. And then press Q to engage handbrake and press F to empty the truck. Oh, come on, I want to see. There we go. I was hoping that building wouldn't block us. All right, we can leave the incineration plant. So let's go do that. Um, what can we do now? I guess I need to fill up, don't I? So what I need to do, actually, is... Well, let's check out emails. We've got... 
get a new building and a new price. We've got bank loans offered to us and a job complete, yada, yada, yada. It's got garbage collection mission. We've got our vehicles that we've got. This is the building that we got, the residential depot. I can see where we can get um, fuel. Doesn't seem like there's anything too close to us. So I guess I'll have to go back to this lady. Maybe she'll give us a mission and there I'll be able to pick up some fuel. Um, how far are we away from this stuff? Quite a bit. Alright, so let's continue on. I think turning right and then right around here. Let's make sure none of these guys hit us. There we go. Hopefully don't run out of fuel on the way, but we shouldn't. Just keep following this way and we'll be good. I'm not quite sure how the fuel indicator drops down. Does it drop down like realistically or does it just jump from one little section to the next like little dot? The next little indication. It seems like it's going down realistically. Like it's not jumping about or anything. What I'm going to do though is pick up that fuel that I oh so desperately need. Um, press enter. No, I don't want to start that. Wait, what did it say? It's, it was told. No, I don't want to start the task, sorry. I want to pick up fuel. Um, the problem is, I'm not quite sure where that is. It would seem as if it's right over here somewhere. Right? There's a food place. What about if we come up over here? There we go. I think over to the left here. Aha. Now we're in business. Park the truck in the designated area, of course. Yes, yeah, so I also wish they did patch out the gear shifting sound because that does get rather annoying as well. Very, very loud in comparison. And I tried to change the audio for that, but I couldn't. So, I did I already parked there we go handbrake refuel okay that was fairly simple nothing too difficult I think if I talk to that guy that's got the mission he'll actually give us more points I think so I'm just gonna do that because it seems like the safe bet so, there's been a discount on a new soda at the supermarket and everybody's buying it. The consequence for the city? There are plastic bottles everywhere. Can you help us clean up the district and take away the garbage? Okay. So, let's go do that. Um, it seems like we've got everything that's around here though. So, that's pretty easy. I wonder if we're in the right vehicle though. I'd say we're not though. Do that is press this because we need plastics. I wonder if we can fail a mission. Ah, look at that. We're not able to. Okay, there we go. So that makes sense. I'm gonna drop that off there. Um, can I can cancel a mission there? Can I? Interesting. All right, so here's the recycling vehicle that we need. I mean, what else is there for me to do? I can go... So it's getting very repetitive now because all we're doing is this stuff. So I don't want to do too much of this and I actually want to go ahead and explore. It seems like all we've got are like drop off zones and I just need to grind this little bit out. Jeez, and this is on easy mode. So what I'll do is I'll grind this bit out and I'll just keep on doing the garbage and recycling missions and then we'll actually go ahead and hopefully get started on a different um, section of things maybe gardening or plumbing we'll have to wait and see what we choose but until next time though guys hopefully you've enjoyed and i will see you later